हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर राजेश एंड आई एम विद यू विद माई न्यू वीडियो लेक्चर एंड दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इज ऑन वैक्टर कैलकुलस एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी वट इज़ कॉन्सटेंट वैक्टर ओके एक कॉन्सटेंट वैक्टर इज अ वैक्टर दैट हैज़ कॉन्सटेंट मैगनीट्यूड एज वेल एज कॉन्सटेंट डायरेक्शन तो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन हैज़ कॉन्सटेंट मैगनीट्यूड एज वेल एज कॉन्सटेंट डायरेक्शन बोथ हैज़ टू बी कॉन्सटेंट मैगनीट्यूड एज वेल एज डायरेक्शन ओनली देन वी कैन से दैट ए वैक्टर इज ए कॉन्सटेंट वैक्टर इफ वी से सम वैक्टर इज हैविंग द कॉन्सटेंट मैगनीट्यूड बट द डायरेक्शन इज नॉट कॉन्सटेंट देन वी से दैट इट इज नॉट ए कॉन्सटेंट वैक्टर सो दिस इज द दिस वैक्टर इज नॉट ए कॉन्सटेंट वैक्टर बिकॉज इट इज कंटिन्यूसली चेंजिंग इज डायरेक्शन it is continuously changing its direction its magnitude though its length is constant but its direction is continuously changing instantaneously changing so this vector cannot be a constant vector next we see the example of a constant vector and there we will try to understand with the help of figure that what is constant vector see uh, this vector has a constant length and direction is constant and direction is in the direction this direction and its magnitude is constant and constant magnitude is this one this is the constant magnitude it has length up to here only and length is always remaining constant and direction is also constant so this is a constant vector so in this we have studied that a constant vector is a vector that has both constant magnitude as well as constant direction likewise this direction is continuously changing changing direction changing direction constant magnitude so this is not a constant vector now we have gone through the definition of the constant vector a constant vector is a vector that has constant magnitude as well as constant direction and have illustrated it with the help of examples also now we will go through some important theorem and there are three theorems in this we will cover only one theorem in the next lecture we will cover two theorems we will also try to cover two theorem in this if it is possible so first theorem is this one necessary and sufficient condition for vector function f of a scalar variable to be constant is df by dt is equal to zero now we proceed further let f is equal to ft be a vector function of scalar variable t condition is necessary let f is equal to ft b a constant vector if it is a constant vector required to prove df by dt is equal to 0 now since ft is a constant vector so its value at parameter t is c and at the value of the parameter t plus delta t it is also c because it is a constant vector now using the there the theorem and that states that it is delta t this is ft dash plus delta t square f double dash t and so on equal to this one say so this is ft and this is small change in f this whole part this whole part is represented as small change in f is equal to c vector 
by Taylor theorem. What it states that f of a plus h is equal to f of a plus h f dash a plus s by 2 factorial f double dash a and so on. This implies that and you will name it as equation number 2 from equation 1 this thing is C also so uh, we can write it as C plus delta F is equal to C using 1 into using 1 in 2 this implies that delta f this will cancel out is equal to 0 this implies that delta f by delta t is equal to 0 taking limit delta t approaching to 0 on both sides so this will not make any difference by definition of differentiation this is df by dt is equal to 0 Therefore, we have shown that if f is a constant vector, then its differentiation with respect to t will always be 0. Now, this is the necessary condition. Now, next is condition is sufficient. Let f is equal to ft be a vector function such that df by dt is equal to 0 is equal to 0 required to prove that f is a constant vector f is a constant vector now let let f can be written as f 1 t because it is a vector f 2 t f 3 t and we are given that df by dt is equal to 0. These f1, f2 and f3 are further function of t. We can write it something like that. Now this implies that d f1 t by dt i cap d f2 t dt j cap d by dt f3 t k cap is equal to 0 so this 0 now is compared with vector is a 0 vector and 0 vector can be written as 0 i 0 j plus 0 k cap now comparing the coefficients of i cap j cap k cap on both sides we get d by dt of f1 t is equal to 0 d by dt of f2 t is equal to 0 d by dt of f3 t equal to 0 this implies integrating both side that f1 t is a constant quantity is a constant f2 t is constant because integration of 0 is constant and f3 t is also constant this implies that f1 t f2 t f3 t are constants are constant if these are constant now try to understand these are constants these are constant and these were the components of f along x axis y axis and z axis so these are constant are not changing if these are not changing so this vector having the constant components is nothing but a constant 
vector so i can write that this component can be written as this vector can be written as f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k cap where f1 f2 f3 are constants are constant now i i have omitted the t because it does not depend upon the t so i have written f1 f2 and I mentioned also f1 f2 f3 are constants so if its components are constant this implies that f vector is a constant vector function constant vector function so in this theorem we have proved that the necessary and sufficient condition for a vector function to be constant is that df by dt is equal to zero so in this lecture we have gone through one theorem and the definition of constant vector very soon i will be with you with two um, more important theorems on this vector function and very soon i will be with you uh, this is all i have from this lecture so if you like the video please like subscribe share and comment this is dr rajesh saying you goodbye thank you very much thank you for watching